Hey everyone, I've got a great new art book to review for you today called Anywhere Anytime Art, Colored Pencil, A Playful Guide to Drawing with Colored Pencil on the Go, and it is by Kara Hanley. This book was published in 2018. And I always love to stop on the introduction page. I love to know what has inspired an artist, what inspires someone to draw, to create, to color, to use color pencil, mixed media, and then what's inspired them to write a book. Um, if you want to let me know what inspires you to draw and to color, let me know in the comments. Uh, but Kara said she's an illustrator. She lives in upstate New York. And the thing that gets her inspired is the process because she feels like it gives a deeper connection to the world around her and allows her to escape the everyday stresses of life. And I think that's a good reason why a lot of us escape to our art. It gives us a time that we can reflect and be peaceful. So the first thing I want you to notice right now is that this is a playful book. And part of what makes it playful is that Kara has done her own illustrations, as you'll see throughout the book. And to have a colored pencil book with colored pencil illustrations is really playful and it is really fun. I absolutely love the tone that this sets throughout this book. And so she goes through quite a few art techniques and so forth. But I want to dive right into this first section on drawing techniques. One thing that she suggests that you do is a blind contour, which is pick an object, close your eyes, and try and draw that object as you see it. And see how closely you can come to the object. And she says what this does is it gives you an idea of the contours and actual shape of the cup and it will help you in your drawing. Now she talks here about texture, about soft point using sharp points, and then she's going to give you some ideas of things that you can use as texture. Um, I feel that Filling and texturing is a very important part of what we do as coloring book artists. So I would suggest watching my video called Can You Do It? It's a study and an experiment of using only black and white to create textures. It's not maybe the most interesting thing you could do to use two colors, black and white. You know, if you wanted to, you could use green and yellow, but stick with two colors. And this way you'll see what you can do with adding texture and fill that will excite some of your coloring projects to come. And so here, hopefully you can see how she very uniquely just used this cross hatching here to create a background. We don't always have to solidly fill something. So I think you'll find a lot of these pages here very interesting on color theory which in every book we have. Kara believes in coloring on the go, coffee and art. She loves drawing in coffee shops. Okay, so now we're going to get to some of the step-by-step -step pieces that she's got to this book here. And she's going to walk us through designing each and every piece of this picture here. And I find this very helpful. She has very easy steps. Her, her illustrations and the way she's coloring is very easy that I feel like we can mimic. There are many um, coloring books out there about succulents and plants and so we do need to know different ways of coloring plants within the same coloring page. This has one plant on this page but many of the coloring books have many different plants and we've got to find ways of making them unique. She goes through several fruits and different ways of making them unique. And I've got this page highlighted because a lot of the books are architectural by design. I've got a lot of books where there's furniture and I need to know how do I create a simple wood texture without spending a thousand hours on it. This here is a very easy way to draw a chair, to color in a chair. And it's very pleasing to the eye, very interesting to look at. And she goes again through several other exercises of coloring. And 
for the pet lovers in the group. You're going to love this because she gives us some very simple ways to accentuate coloring pets to make them unique and different. Um, I find some of the coloring books that I have on every page, someone had they have drawn a pet. And uh, I, it's not my favorite thing to color, but with some of these simple tips, very simple. I think I try and make it too difficult. I try to make it too realistic, and in the end, it just takes me too long, and I feel like I, I can't really draw the pet like I want to. So I really appreciate some of these just basic techniques of making the animals look vibrant and alive. Next, if you have people that you would like to color, this is going to give you some ideas of shading. We don't always have to shade in every part of the face, but we can. And then she's going to do a study here on campers. Many of you might be obsessed with one thing. Maybe there's one thing that you just love to draw more than anything else. And so with her right here, it's campers. She talks a little bit about using pastels because they are easy to create a color palette with. She goes through a little bit of the design, but as you can see here, she's done three different campers, all looking very interesting but pleasing to the eye. So whatever you are obsessed with, uh, go for it and color it in as many different ways as you can. Again, a couple of animals there until we get to some trees. I feel like there's a lot of birch trees in coloring pages, so this is going to help you out immensely. I've got this highlighted because I really enjoyed the way that she did the trees. Now in the coloring book pages, we're generally not going to just have this blank space. We're going to have the contouring, which is just the outlining. So mostly what we've got in coloring book pages, another artist has done the contouring for us. It's up to us to do the texturing, the shading, and the filling. But I wanted to see, show you how nice this looked just very simply. Again, we would have more contouring, but we could do a simple color on the leaves instead of maybe coloring each and every leaf. leaf. Buildings, a very simple way of doing buildings. Got some food in here. And I just love this tip that she's got for us here. She says, when you've got something that you want to color, what you want to do if you don't know exactly the color combinations you want to use, just do a few color combinations with different styles and then see which one you like the best. We don't have to draw the full-blown cup, just draw a little portion of it. And that would have helped me and it will in the future because there's many times that I feel like I make color mistakes. That's part of the difficult thing about colored pencils is we're adding our colors onto the page without mixing them first to see what they look like. So this is a very helpful tip. And she goes through a little bit on perspective. This is a very good page on coloring water. Again, I feel like it's more simply done than what I would do in a coloring page, yet it works and I like it. So she gives us three ideas of three sample ways we can color water. And then lastly here, she gives us an idea how we can mix media with the colored pencil. This one was done in colored pencil. This one was done in watercolor. And you can see the different effects that you might get. Now she doesn't do um, a study on this, but she does give us a rough idea. This is like an idea book. I just, I really love it. I would definitely recommend getting this book by Kara Hanley. 